The Spooky Sleepover, a Pixar Monsters, Inc., my first Halloween bedtime story. Let's read. One morning, the phone rang at Monsters, Inc. We need a monster for a slumber party at little Shannon Brown's house, a dispatcher told Sully. Sully knew exactly whom to send, his best friend, Mike Wazowski. Mike headed over right away, but when he walked into Shannon Brown's room, it was empty. Just then, a flash of lightning lit up the dark room. If there was one thing that scared Mike, it was thunderstorms. He raced back to the closet, but when he opened the door, it was still just a closet. He realized the lightning must have broken the door. Heading into the dark, Mike tried to follow the sound of laughter. I've got to get out of here, Mike muttered to himself. Suddenly, a creature jumped on him, knocking him over. It was a dog! Mike hated dogs. Back on the laugh floor, Sully found out Mike hadn't returned yet. When he checked the door, he realized it was broken. Sully and the monsters tried to get into Shannon's house using a new door. It worked! Now the door would open into a different room in the house. In the house, Mike opened another door. It led to the bathroom. He tripped on a rubber ducky. Suddenly, he heard giggling coming from down the hall. Mike did not like this assignment or this house but he was determined to find the party. He followed the laughter to a door, but when he opened it, the room was quiet. Slowly, Mike entered the dark, silent room. All of a sudden, a light came on. Mike jumped. Shannon Brown and all her friends roared with laughter. They thought Mike looked funny sneaking into the room. At that moment, the closet door opened and Sully burst into the room. Mike screamed and jumped into Sully's arms. Sully screamed too. The girls laughed harder than ever. Looks like our work here is done, Sully said with a smile. He and Mike headed back to the laugh floor. They had filled plenty of canisters with laughs. I was never scared for a second. Mike said, hoping Sully would believe him. Me neither, buddy, Sully replied, his big furry fingers crossed behind his back. Me neither. We've come to the end of another story. I hope you enjoyed it. And in the spirit of Halloween, happy Halloween.